Hey there, I'm Tesla and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at replacing the animation starter pack character with our own custom character and uh, we're going to retain all of the animations for the animation starter pack so we won't have to worry about retargeting. So you've probably seen the Mixmo animation pack on the Unreal Engine Marketplace but you may or may not be aware of uh, Mixmo's own product called Fuse and Fuse is essentially a character generator. So I'm just going to jump in and show you how easy it is to start generating a character within Fuse. And it's really simple. If we look over to the right hand panel you'll see you have torso, leg, arm and head. All we have to do is start selecting the parts that we want to use. So I'm just going to left click on the male fit A head and this will pop into the viewport and refresh with a texture. I can then, it will automatically go to the torso tab to say that you want you know, to continue building the body. So I'm going to grab the male fit A torso and the male fit A legs and then the male fit A arms as well. So we now have a full body character and we can also take this a bit further by customizing the part so we can uh, hover over any part of the character and start clicking and dragging to shape it. Now you might want to be seeing the actual values of what you're doing here and not just clicking and dragging uh, so if you want to do that you can come to the customize tab and now you can see when you hover over this and left click it will update the active region up here and then you can say you know I can grab the neck and then start sliding it around to what I want it to be. So we also have clothing so if we come to the clothing tab there's loads of preset items that we can throw on the character so I'm just going to start chucking on anything I see. I'm going to see the uh, put on the open jacket and then I'll come down to the bottoms for trousers and then grab the jeans and then shoes let's grab the uh, the sneakers and uh, I'm going to grab the hats and throw on the beanie A. Okay, so that's good enough for me. Uh, there's loads more things in here. There's hair, eyewear, beards, gloves, masks, and all that. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the the textures now. So we come to the texture tab and we can customize any part of uh, the clothing here. So we can left click on the jacket. And let's say we don't want the red parts to be red. We can come to the patches here, which will represent... Uh, yeah, these little patches and we can scroll down and find the leather color we can select that and customize it to where, where we want so if I want it to be blue you know I'll just quickly do that so these are uh, these textures are also uh, built with substance so you can scroll up a bit and uh, well actually it's on the it's on the top a male fit jacket just up here if you select that top bit you'll see we have a texture resolution so you, you might see that it's slightly low quality but that's because it's 512 by 512 so we can drop that down and throw it over to 1024 by 1024 and it'll automatically uh, refresh and update and you can see it's much better quality now and you can do that with the with the skin as well uh, the skin's already there but I could push that up to uh, 2048 if I want to and then I can do that with the trousers, they're still 512 by 512 and I'll just chuck that there. So we can also scroll down a bit and throw on like cloth wear, uh, dirt, so if I just bring this up you can see it's now bringing in dirt onto the trousers and let's say, let's grab the uh, the hat and if we want like a complete different almost material on here we can come to main fabric here and then you can see that this is no longer greyed out if, if we're on here it's all greyed out but if we come back to main fabric these become available so if you just want to you know throw on leather or fabric or even just a solid color you know you can just select that and then it'll come on there so I'm ready to start throwing this into Unreal and at the moment we can't pose this character or anything he's not rigged so what we're going to do is upload it to Mixmo to rig it and to do that all we have to do is come to file and then we can come to animate with Mixamo and then we'll just have to log in to your Mixamo account and you can create one online and uh, let's just hit upload you'll see that it will come to the, the rigging page automatically after it's uploaded it and then we should be able to instantly see an animation on the, uh, the character and we'll be able to uh, download him with the Unreal Engine skeleton and uh, just replace that character in Unreal Engine, the animation starter pack character. Okay, so the rigging process has now finished and we can now see the animation working correctly on the character. It all looks good, the fingers are moving. Uh, so we can just go ahead and um, let's have a look here. 
let's just go uh, if we want to create facial blend shapes we could enable that and use uh, all the blend shapes on the face inside Unreal so you could move the eyelids and all that and create facial animations but I'm just going to skip that for now we're going to go to finish and bring him straight into Unreal we can just download him immediately so to download him all you have to do is um, select him on the top and choose your download format and we're going to choose FBX for Unreal Engine 4 and hit download so upon downloading and extracting your character you'll have a fuse model.fbx so we want to simply drag and drop this into Unreal but before we do that I'm just going to make it a bit more neat I'm going to select the content folder right click on it and add a new subfolder here and I'm just going to call this uh, Mixamo character and then I'm just going to bring up this folder and now drag and drop this guy straight into this uh, folder here so with the FBX import options, it's going to be fine if we hit import, but remember we want to use all the animations from the animation starter pack. So we're going to come to skeleton and drop this down and tell it to use the hero TPP skeleton. And we know that's for the animation starter pack because when I hover over it you can see path and it goes to game anim starter pack character. So I'm going to select that and then hit import. Now you might get an error saying some bind poses aren't correct or something, but just close that, it'll be fine, the animation is going to work no problem. So if we double click this, just to open it up, we'll see the uh, skeletal meshes there, the materials have applied correctly, we've got the blue uh, patches as well. Let's come over to the animation tab, and yeah, we've got all the animations down there. So if you if you don't have these, uh, just uh, delete everything that you've just put in and just re-import it and make sure you've selected that skeleton correctly. And we can make sure these work just by double clicking on them as well, and we can see all these animations work correctly. So one last thing we might notice is the eyelashes look slightly off and that's because um, they're, they're basically planes we can see. Uh, all we have to do is just jump out of this and come to the body matte eyelashes material. And we want to change this from opaque to masked. And we're going to grab the diffuse texture and just grab the alpha channel and chuck it into the opacity mask just here. and hit apply and let's just drag this guy in and just hit cancel there just give it a second and yeah you can see that is applied correctly but if you didn't want those on there at all if you just completely wanted to get rid of them uh, you can come back to the uh, the eyelashes and you could say opacity mask clip and just set that to one and then it will remove it completely Okay, so that's it. We've successfully uh, brought in a character. Now, one last thing we want to do is replace this character so we can click play and play around as him. So I'm just going to come to the uh, the Anim Starter Pack folder, character, ASP character, and I totally could have just clicked on him to do that. Just select him there, go to Edit Blueprint, Open Blueprint Editor. Okay, so I'm going to come to the viewport, select him here, come down to Hero TPP, and just use the Fuse model and it's instantly updated. We can see that changing really smoothly. Hit compile. Uh, we've got some unknown errors. That's just because there's no crouch action map. We don't need to worry about that just yet. Hit play. And here we are playing around as our new character. So I'm going to upload some more tutorials showing how we can further customize this character. But in the meantime, if you uh, want to take this a bit further, make sure to check out Mixmo's website and you can download many different animation packs and single animations on here, such as a free test pack um, and, you know, the rifle pack, so many animations there. So make sure you check it out. And thanks for checking this tutorial out and make sure you stay subscribed. Cheers, guys.